How's it going, my fantastic people? Teddy Cap here, gaming once again, and today we are playing Fran Bow. I love this game a lot, and it's fantastically made. Why not fucking play it? Her eyes are just following the mouse. That's actually pretty cool. You know, this game has a very nice tone to it, and it's really fucking amazing and well made. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's Mr. Midnight. That cat is so cute. My best friend. My only friend. Aww. We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. I'm glad she's her aunt. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. <laughs> Cat is licking his milk like that. We're having so much fun. Aww, that's so cute. Is that supposed to be a white hole for his butt hole? No comment. But something feels real bad. Oh. A strange creature outside my window. This dude is creepy as shit. <laughs> Suddenly I hear something. It's mom screaming. Oh. I want to know what's wrong. Girl, curiosity only kills the cat. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Yes, because of bloody knife. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, he had his eyes gouged out. Oh. See, playing this game on my own, I realized so many things that I missed. Like, watching other people play it. So it's, like, amazing to see, like, every little detail up front. Friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Oh. The doctor. Three. Friend, how do you feel? I'm gonna try and give him a different kind of voice. So, I don't know, whatever the hell comes out my mouth is whatever you won't get. I'm fine, I guess. It's just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everyone has within. I want to go home. You can't go home, friend. You have to get well. I have to get out of here. I need my... I have to get out of here. I need my cat. If your cat is missing, it would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you, friend. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. The fact that this... This was my mother's purse. It's actually pretty nice. Open it. There's something inside. A letter. A 
Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She is worried about you. Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Oh. Anything new today, Dr. Dear? Nothing, actually. Same vision as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend. Take your medicine. I don't feel good. Take it back to her room. Don't let her take this ever again. Damn, that's fucking crazy. Beware, Fran Bo. If you leave the House of Madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I will be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. My lord. Chapter one, my sober day. Damn. Yeah, cause that clown looks so not creepy. I'm still here, hideous place. I have to get out of here. Fucking locked like a bitch. Okay. Oh, oh, holy moly, something fell. And oh, crap, it was the curtain. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Okay. Uh, she really is just an innocent kid. Damn. Uh, nurse, 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 nurse. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You're nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pitch! <laughs> accidentally, I'll have to fix this phony... That actually hurts my throat. <coughs> oh, but that's how I imagine her sounding. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. I'll keep 
these patches to stop blood. Beautiful. Uh, la la la. Binal trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, I just realized this fucking mouse thing is a severed hand. Oh my lord, eh? Alright, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits and some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Beautiful. All the lobes that I learned about in psychology. Okay. La 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 la. Room 04. Nursing visit report. Gladys is a nurse's name. I am the patient that she's talking about. Patient's behavior description. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I doubt she remembers that. After drinking water, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her, and when she would come out and play. Do a teen. So we might need that later. Okay, drawer, box. I think the, this is where the medicine is. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Holy, why does she? You know, it's in the same asylum, so I can understand why. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Yes, you do, honey. Cause... This shit's crazy. Alright, let's try to open up this case. I know I have to find the code. Use, okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So, 8. Okay. 8. Eyes right up. Oh no, blah, 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 four, five, there we go. Alright, pills, beautiful. The pills, Kitty told me these would help me. Alright, so we got her pills. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can get from here. Okay, history, she's ten... The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy details omitted treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and can't and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Doc damn it, this is 1944. Jeez. Alright, so let's try to come over here. Oh. Oh, little tiny box. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Okay, beautiful. Alright, so a whole bunch of toys. Let's talk to this kid. Hello, Phil. Wow, he's one sickly child. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner to my games. And nobody will help you escape. Has one angry face. Leave me alone. I hate you. 
My goodness, the distress this girl has to go with. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. I so there's nothing else that this kid can tell me. Uh, la, la, la. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Alright. Uh, I think this door's shit. Alright, so that's locked. Uh, that's locked. Alright, so I'm just making sure that I'm not missing anything in normal mode. Okay, so let's pop a pill. Oh my. That thing is ugly. Damn, that is one very dead nurse. Alright, let's see if we can take anything. Oh, I think we can. Ah, beautiful. Excuse me, lady nurse, this would be very useful. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in this room that we could take. Is that my head? Yes, that's your head. Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Oh my goodness. Locked. Alright, so there's this secret passageway downstairs. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep her. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. No. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Is that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Alright, so I've checked as much as I've been able to. Uh, let's check this box since it's in my inventory. Uh, la, la, la. Oh, a key. This will certainly open something. Alright, so let's try to use this. On the drawer. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, I got it. There's something inside. Oh, family photo and a hairpin. Alright, so what's skinny enough to fit as a key? Because needles you could use and bobby pins you could use. So let's try to combine these two. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so let's see if we could go open that door now. Alright, let's close up the petals. Okay, still locked, so let's try to use this makeshift key. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so let's go. Oh, alright, so let's explore a little bit, see what's around. Oh, la 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 la. Oh, she's actually kind of cute. Hello. You see them, you do, right? Ow. See what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. 
Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. Let's try to take one of these. That's mine. My crayons. I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No. I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't let me drawing. Who? The nurses. They tie me up. And when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Ooh. Boy. Please carry me, yes? And stop the red milk? I'll see what I can do. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Alright, so the only thing that I know that I have that could potentially help her is band-aids. Because she's bleeding. Okay, so that worked. Aw, she's so adorable. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. Alright, so I got a green crayon that's perfection. I don't know what the hell that's going to be useful for later. So explore so awkward. Ha! There you are. You should be in the room. The door was closed. But you left it open. Oh, bitch. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then, huh? It was open. Don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Bitch. Ugh. I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. So I'm going to leave this episode here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this so far. I will continue to play this game. But this is it for this episode. Franbo will continue. I will try to look for other games to play. Uh, of course, do not forget to comment down below other games that you guys want to suggest me. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, no, 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 no.